Hi, William. It's Colin. Okay, so the first thing I checked when I got into the site, and it worked, thank you very much, is the we go to the appearance and the editor. We want to make sure the style sheets are writable so that you can save updates and whatnot. And I noticed down here, and it doesn't happen very often anymore, but there should be a, a save button down here, which means we can save updates. Um, if it's not enabled, that can cause a few things like we can't update style sheets or styles. Uh, it's a simple thing. You can, If you can contact your web host and say, hey, look, in my WordPress installation, I need to be able to save um, style sheets in the editor. <clears throat> and they will be able to change the permissions on the, uh, on the server for you to allow that to happen because it's not this actually isn't um, part of the theme this is part of the WordPress installation the uh, the appearance and the editor that's actually part of WordPress itself um, and there's no way to change it through the theme so uh, there should be a, like a save button down here which means that these style sheets are editable they're not at the moment and that's part of the problem if we can get if you can just contact your host and, and ask them to I'll uh, change the, the settings or the permissions so that your WordPress theme can um, save changes to the uh, style sheet. Uh, that'd be great. And then we can move ahead and get those menu buttons updated for you. Other than that, we can do it through FTP at the back end, but there's a lot easier way to do it right through the, uh, just by making this editable. All right. Well, with that said, let's take a look at your logo here. I'm going to suggest we modify the size of the logo so it fits into the area that's available. And the area that's available is about 960 by uh, by about 100 pixels. And I've actually gone ahead and resized it for you. So I'm going to upload this to your server, and we're going to use this size of logo right here for your page. I'll put the video on pause here for a sec. Great. So the new size of the logo is now 960 by 107. So let's go to our strength. Let's go to our custom logo, and let's assign this new logo where we have the web logo August through. Let's go with um, logo 3, September 2015. And top, we're going to go, let's uh, see how much top we need. Yeah, let's leave it at the 105. Left is good. Text and save changes. And let's just see what happens now when I refresh here and make sure it all. There we go. Pops right into place exactly, almost exactly where I want it. I'm going to move it up a couple of pixels because I didn't want it to be touching down here. So let's go from the 105 to 2 and save and refresh. And now it should fill that space just, there we go, perfectly. Uh, lines up right to the edge just as I planned it out. Okay, so now your logo fits in there really nice. Now you set your third image. Perfect. And okay, so what's happening is this image is too large. So we need to resize it a little bit. And that one is probably resizable there as well. So let me just go grab these images and resize them so they fit. Now the size of your images are actually 718 by 330 pixels. And if you're ever wondering how do you know what size images to use, you can always log into your account and you can click on your, uh, say your instructions tab here for your product. And right here's an images tab once you do that. And it'll actually tell you right here, portfolio very large, 718 by 330. So these are all the different image sizes, and we actually give you uh, replacement images in here if you ever wanted to re-download them. So let's take a look at the images you actually have in your uh, media library here and see what we can do. This is probably the third pick right here, I believe. Okay, I think. Let me just make sure here. That one there, yep. So let's hit this one right here. Okay, so we have an image that is... We're going to edit that image. Okay. Okay, now I'm assuming you're using this image only for your um, your first page. So when you put an image in here, you can actually... You start off by scaling the width, so 718 and hit scale. Okay, so it's going to change the image, but it's 718 by 330. That's what we need. Okay, but WordPress has the built-in sizing and scaling and cropping and all that sort of stuff. So now the image is resized to 718 wide, but it's still 1018 high. We need to now crop it. Okay, and you can learn a little bit more by doing the poop thing right here. Now to crop an image, there's an image crop over here, but you can actually just take your cursor right over here and just sort of do one of these, okay? Now notice over in this panel over here when I do that, 
it gives you some numbers. So we're looking for 330, right? And we want it 718, or what do we got there? 720, that's close enough. By 330. There we go. And then you can just sort of move things up and down like so. And we want to move this right out to the side and right out to the side. So now 720 by 330, you hit the uh, save button. Oh, sorry, you hit the crop button up here. Boom. And there it is. So now we can save the image because this is what you want here. This is what we call a focal point, right? So there we go. Save. That's the image resized and cropped to fit. Let's just see if that actually took effect right away here. Or we're going to have to reinsert it into the uh, slider. So, All right, second image there. That's a good looking image there. There it is there. Let's see if we can. It might be cached. And we need to make sure we hit the update part over here. Once we go back to the regular image page, I forgot about that. Um, quick. And there we go. I just had to go back into your um, your Neo slider and click on the image and just hunt through to make sure I selected the uh, the updated image. See, I think that was the original one there. And if we scroll down, we see a new image down here, and that's the one. Um, or maybe there was two that were actually quite the same. But anyways, long story short, so now on our third image, there we go. So I resize it. Now, if you get stuck, you just let us know. We'll resize your pictures for you. You fire them over, we'll resize them so they fit, and then just you can upload them into your system. So really, the only thing I'm thinking about is to get the menu sizes changed, uh, all we need access to, or you need access to, or we both need access to, so I can show you, is in if you could just ask your web host to enable the um, editor to save files. They should know what you're talking about. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen this for quite a while where uh, uh, the uh, um, the editor is not able to save a file. Um, it used to be fairly common, but not so much anymore. So maybe something your, your web host hasn't enabled on their WordPress installations yet.